Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Creighton Art. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute sweatshirt. So I've been seeing this sweatshirt online and I thought I would recreate it the way I make my sweatshirts. So I found this boo sign at the Dollar Tree, but you could use whatever you want here. It's just something that I found. I got some contact paper from the Dollar Tree, some scissors, some thread. I had this sweatshirt. I ended up picking this sweatshirt up for like $3.99. So if you want, go to the thrift store. If you have one old, I like to use the sweatshirt material. An uh, old piece of fleece here just to make it thicker. Some stick pins, an old shirt. I got the thrift store, a yellow shirt, and this peachy colored um, item here. So the first thing I did is I drawed with my Sharpie the letters that I want to do. And you're just going to draw around there. And then we're going to cut these out. So just draw around each letter. And I'm doing each one separate. So when you sew these on, you're going to sew these on each separate. So go ahead and cut out all three of your pieces here if you want to do the boo. You could do all kinds of things. I will put this in my description, the um, playlist for my sweatshirt. So you can see all the different ones I've made. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of this material here. This is the old shirt I got at the thrift store. Make sure it's bigger than your letter. And then you're going to cut out, first you're going to stick your letter on. So let's go ahead and do just do one letter at a time. So go ahead and do the B where you want it. And make sure you get this right where you want it. And then I'm going to cut out a piece of this fleece about the same size as that piece of material. And then I'm going to take my stick pins. I'm going to slide this up underneath there. Make sure you get this right where you want it. And then we're just going to pin this on through the front. So you're going to go through all three layers. So the top layer, the two layers of material, but not the back layer of your sweatshirt. Just going to pin these on like this. I like to use the contact paper because it holds it into place for you really well. So you don't want it to get puckered or shifting on you. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just stick this up under my sewing machine here. And I, I just keep making sure that I'm not going to tuck anything's like ruffled up in there or anything so you got to keep checking to make sure nothing is getting puckered or in the way so you want any of the back material in there so you're just going to go all the way around the sweatshirt here the letter i took it out and i'm going to do each little piece inside the b so just go ahead and do that And then cut off my little strings and now I'm going to flip it inside out and I'm going to take this these materials here and I'm going to take my pinking shears is what they're called and that'll keep it from fraying the fleece won't fray on you but your fabric might so go ahead and use some of these on your fabric here just cut it out smaller and then I'm going to take my O's and I'm just going to do one at a time so I'm going to stick this O on right where I want it and then I'm going to do the same thing. And then be careful. You don't want to get your material, like when you sew your next letter on, make sure it's not sewing inside the other one. So you want to make sure you cut those short enough so you don't sew it. You have to watch that while you're sewing. Because if you do, when you cut out the front side, you're going to see it. So make sure you, none of that is sewed on the inside. So now we're going to put it inside out, the right sides out, take off the sticker make sure you don't sew on top of the sticker very much here just pull it off gently and then we're going to start to cut off the top side of the fabric so you want to be very careful and cut off just just do the front side just a little bit and slip your scissors in and you don't want to make you want to make sure you're not cutting that back fabric so be very careful and go really slow so go all the way around and cut off all of this fabric and then cut it off on the inside here. Go ahead and do that to all three of your letters. How cute is this? So I think this turned out better than my inspiration. It's so cute. Let me show you here when we get it all cut out. Isn't that adorable? I love how it turned out. Well, if you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.